Having equipment protected by a UPS and SPD is essential to reducing downtime, but all too often we are faced with a situation like this. In the past, the only options have been to stick build solutions, leaving equipment at risk. Deployments like this lead to ineffective protection, reduced shelf life, and the potential for damage from dirt, water, or spilled coffee. One option to ensure that your equipment is consistently protected is to utilize components that are compatible with DIN rails inside the electrical enclosure. DIN rails are metal rails mounted within an electrical enclosure. There are a variety of sizes, but the 35 millimeter top hat DIN rail is the most common. By utilizing standardized mounting rails and components that are factory compatible with this rail, installation becomes much faster than mounting items directly to the inside of an electrical enclosure. It is also easier to organize components across a DIN rail to optimize performance and reduce cable clutter. Every piece of hardware that is DIN rail compatible is guaranteed to fit the weight and depth requirements for the space. In addition to making installation easier, mounting components together on a DIN rail improves their performance. The electrical enclosure protects sensitive equipment from the grime and liquids that are common in industrial applications. Components that are designed for industrial applications should be built to withstand the heavy vibrations of those environments, but a DIN rail within an enclosure adds another layer of vibration attenuation. Eaton offers several products that are compatible with the 35 millimeter DIN rail, either through integrated mounting hardware or additional rail mounting clips. Two of those products are the DIN rail Aegis SPD and DIN rail UPS. Eaton's Aegis DIN rail surge protective device is an open type 1 SPD that comes integrated with DIN rail mounting feet. This SPD is available in both AC and DC voltages. The Aegis DIN rail SPD meets the requirements for installation in commercial and industrial applications. As more industrial Internet of Things equipment is deployed in factory automation control systems, robotics, and PLCs, the need grows for surge devices to protect the sensitive equipment against power fluctuations. By installing SPDs in these non-traditional IT environments, such as warehouses, manufacturing facilities, and fabrication plants, you are not only supporting the reliable operation of the connected equipment, but you're protecting it from high maintenance costs and downtime for repairs or replacement. The pluggable multipole SPD comes equipped with an optional remote contact connector for remote monitoring. Knowing the health of SPDs remotely without having to physically stand in front of the enclosure means equipment in large facilities or satellite installations is still protected. The Aegis DIN rail SPD can be used where only surge and transient voltage protection is needed or where replacement modules are specified. Some key features of the Aegis include up to four protection modes, red-green status indication lights for visual health assessments, the resistance to withstand vibration and shock, and a thermal disconnector. To learn more about this product, you can visit our website. The second Eaton product that I would like to introduce you to is Eaton's DIN rail industrial UPS. Like most DIN rail mounted products, this UPS is designed specifically to withstand the demanding conditions of industrial environments, including being UL508 certified for industrial panels. The DIN rail UPS has a compact, lightweight form factor and integrated DIN rail mounting feet compatible with 35mm top hat DIN rails, which means it can be installed securely within an electrical enclosure. This is a much better option for plants, warehouses, and manufacturing facilities than other rack or wall-mounted UPSs on the market, which are too heavy or large to fit inside an electrical enclosure. Those standard IT UPSs require stick building a solution to the outside of the enclosure, which leaves it at risk for damage from dust, liquids, or heavy vibrations. An additional benefit of deploying an industrial UPS over a standard UPS is the higher operating temperature. This DIN rail UPS has an operating range of 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit without derating, which extends the life of batteries and, in the case of hot environments, reduces cooling costs. The DIN rail industrial UPS comes in AC 120 volt models and DC 24 volt models. Some DC installations may require a 24 volt power supply. 
Studies have shown that the failure to protect sensitive electronic loads costs the American manufacturing, commercial, and services industries more than $39 billion per year in lost time and revenue. To protect against these losses, it is important to not only deploy a UPS, but also monitor it to make sure it keeps running. AC 120 volt models are compatible with Power Alert Office software for UPS monitoring and control via USB connection. DC 24 volt models have dry contacts for battery status and UPS communication, allowing for critical alerts to be delivered to connected equipment. You can also monitor the DIN rail UPS from in front of the UPS with LED indicator lights to provide a quick visual check of the health of the UPS. The lights change to indicate normal operating status or a fault. UPSs that can keep equipment online longer and get back online quickly are vital in industrial Internet of Things environments, where automation is becoming increasingly critical. Additional minutes of uptime after a power outage can allow machines to complete an operation, reducing the amount of productivity lost. For extended runtime options, DC 24 volt models require at least one external battery module and can support up to four. For the times when a UPS needs to be offline due to maintenance or an extended power outage, the DIN rail UPS achieves the goal of getting it back online quickly. Its fanless design eliminates the need to replace a fan that is clogged with dust. And easy, user-replaceable internal batteries on the AC 120-volt models means you are not reliant on a technician's schedule. DC 24-volt models have external battery modules, which are also user-replaceable. The DINRAIL UPS has remote on-off and a battery indicator mode to help you avoid maintenance surprises. And AC 120 volt models automatically restart when AC power is restored after an outage, eliminating the need for a site visit. To learn more about this UPS, visit our website. The Eaton DINRAIL Industrial UPS can be mounted to a top hat 35 millimeter DINRAIL in accordance with EN 60715. To install the AC 120 volt model, turn off the power, then locate the top hook of the DIN rail on the UPS with the unit tilted up. Lower the unit until the latch of the rail mounting system snaps on the bottom of the DIN rail. Shake the UPS to make sure it is securely installed. Attach the input wires. Attach the output wires. Wait for the green indicator light to turn on, indicating that the UPS is connected. To install a DC 24 volt model with an external battery module, turn off the power, then locate the top hook of the DIN rail on the UPS with the unit tilted up. Lower the unit until the latch of the DIN rail mounting system snaps on the bottom of the DIN rail. Follow the same steps to install the external battery module on the DIN rail. Shake the battery module to ensure it is securely installed. Attach the input wires. Attach the output wires. Attach the jumper wires from the UPS to the external battery module. Turn on the power and wait for the green indicator light to turn on, indicating that the UPS is connected. For complete installation instructions, please read the Quick Start Guide and User Manual available on our website. To learn more about Eaton's DINRAIL SPD and UPS solutions and the many options that are currently available, contact your local Eaton representative to schedule a visit to one of Eaton's Power System Experience Centers today.